सो नमस्ते एवरी वन राज फाउंडर सी और एपरी एक्साइट वेल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड दिस मेक्स दिन आई डोट अलाउज यू टू सेंड ऑलमोस्ट फोर एटी पर्सनलाइज कोल्ड ई मेल्स फ्रॉम योर जी मेल फॉर कम्प्लीटली फ्री आई मीन ऑफकोर्स यू कैन नीड द ओपन आई क्रेडिट्स बट डिसाइड्स दैट दिस सिन आर इज कम्प्लीटली फ्री नाउ लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू हाउ दिस दिस सिन आर यू वर्क सो द प्री रेक्विजिट्स आर यू कैन नीड अ जी मेल अकाउंट ऑब्वियसली ड एंड यू ऑल्सो कैन नीड अ जी मास एक्सटेंशन तो जी मास इज अ मेल मर्ज फॉर जी मेल यू जस्ट गेट द एक्सटेंशन फ्रॉम क्रोम वेब स्टोर एड टू क्रोम बट आई ऑलरेडी एडिड एंड देन यू गो टू द ई मेल अकाउंट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू यूज टू सेंड आउट कोल्ड ई मेल्स एंड देन हियर यू कॉन लॉग इन और साइन इन इन टू दिस जी मास एक्सटेंशन एंड देन यू कूड एक्सेस द डैशबोर्ड इन द डैशबोर्ड यू कॉन सी ए पी आई कीज एंड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ पर्पज ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी कॉन नीड एन ए पी आई की सो आई एम गो टू ए पी आई कीज आई एम गो टू मैनेज कीज आई एम गो गो टू मैनेज कीज देन यू हैव टू जनरेट अ न्यू ए पी आई की नाउ यू जस्ट कीप इट देर बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गो यूज इट नाउ बट वील यूज इट फर्दर डाउन द लाइन सो वील क्रॉस द ब्रिज वेन वी गेट देर बट या जस्ट क्रिएट द ए पी आई की एंड एंड सेव इट नाउ लेट मी जस्ट लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन टू यू दिस मेक्स इन आई गो सो बिफोर दैट आई मीन वी आर गोन नीड अ डाटा लिस्ट अ स्प्रेड शीट विच कंटेन्स ऑल द डाटा एंड इन माई केस दिस इज डाटा स्क्रिप्ट फ्रॉम अपोलो विच इज ऑफ रियल एस्टेट ओनर्स रियल एस्टेट कंपनी ओनर्स एंड Uh, as you could see, uh, it it has got the company website. Will help you with topic, which is uh, real estate or like whatever. The, sometimes it, it just pulls out other industry uh, people from other other industries too. But uh, yeah, I mean it's investment management, P R E real estate. Uh, so yeah, this is the company name. This is the email. Now uh, something to keep in mind is that you need you have to format your your lead list, which is going to have a lot of unnecessary data. into this format so it should have first name last name email source of source or slash company name topic will help you with company website and send so the, so the last column it is used to uh, that that is mine if the email has been sent to this guy or not which in in my case this guy has already got the email so that this scenario would not send another email to this guy again so yeah it's it's, uh, it's just to ensure that you are sending 100 email to 100 different people instead of like a, a single person gets bombarded with 100 emails that that's not something uh, that he that he is going to want and it's just going to piss him off more so yeah this is the scenario now first things first uh, like get this thing on a google sheet get your lead list on a google sheet and format your google sheet exactly as mine just so that like if, once you run this and this thing runs smoothly you can do the changes in the in the scenario and in your spreadsheet but until then follow step by step because then you guys are going to cry in the comments and uh, i'm not going to like uh, babysit anyone so you got the email list now we start with search rows function i thought of like building this besides you guys like complete hand holding and building building this from scratch but then it's going to take almost a hour or two and it's going to have a lot of prompt engineering a lot of trial and error which i don't think everyone likes to uh, see So instead, I'm just gonna make wrap this wrap this up in 20 minutes, and you guys could just go out there, start using it, start banging bucks, start landing clients, and you know just just make your parents proud. So we go uh, if we start with the email list, we click on this. Now we have to connect the account. She says us on the gmail dot com. So this is the account which holds my spreadsheet. You have to um, create a connection, then select from my drive because this uh, is located in my drive. This spreadsheet is located in my drive, and then. you have to uh, choose a spreadsheet id which is apollo data 20 uh, 24 uh, it is just the spreadsheet name like you guys get that and then we have sheet name just in case your spreadsheet has multiple sheets in that case you have to choose the one that contains the leads the email and all the required stuff so i i chose spreadsheet one because it only has a single sheet and then this is a important part listen uh, like pay attention carefully in the filter you have to set the sent column to basic operator does not exist so in the most simple words i'd like to tell you that basic operator it means that this cell is empty which translates to the fact that you can send email to the person or or to the people in this in this whole row so that's a, a something to keep in mind so ensure that the sent column is is the same here so maybe you could have it at x y z i don't know where you could have it at k so ensure that this uh the filter is sent a uh, sent a uh, column k and basic operator does not exist that's all uh, keep the limit to 20 if you go beyond 20 then you know it's it's just wasted potential and and I, and i want you to so just listen to me i've been here for uh, much longer than you guys have been then we have the email subject line writer for this one 
there are a few changes that you need to do at your end because I am using this for my agency. So you're a cold outreach email marketer from the company. Now the company name at my end it's RapidX AI, but at your end you have to change it to whatever company name is. So uh, Rajesh Marketing, whatever you guys might choose the name to be, and then. Uh, provides the provides should be changed with your service in mind it's uh, AI voice services to real estate companies but for you it's gonna be marketing or maybe you guys are also selling AI so AI chatbot services whatever it is so you have to change it here here and here so just change your company name and change the uh, this this last line which is uh, your services then there's this router you don't have to touch anything here then you go for decipher first name so yeah this is a pretty inter interesting scenario so in case as I told as you could see the first name here is blank oh uh, yeah the first name here is blank first name last name that's because uh, if by any chance you get leads which do not have name or like something like that then in that case it, it's still gonna work fine what this uh, AI uh, step is gonna do it's gonna decipher the name from the email either from the email either from the company name and in case it could not find any name it's gonna refer to the guy as friend and then he's got it's gonna send the email to the guy so instead of saying hey david it's gonna say hey friend or something like that like something along those lines and you know that's just um, it just makes it more flexible so that in case you don't have data in in the in the name it is still not an issue it's still gonna run pretty fine and it's just gonna take this path instead of this path now this is the only difference between these two paths and then it's all the same it's the email body writer so in the email body writer, you got to change your company name and stuff like that too. Cause uh, you know, then you would be sending uh, emails on behalf of RapidX AI. So yeah, change it to RapidX, change it, change RapidX, RapidX and uh, shit. change RapidX, RapidX and, and the provided service to whatever your service is. Write an email subject. So don't change anything here. Just run this thing uh, smoothly once or twice. And then if this thing runs uh, properly, in that case, you could just, uh, change change anything like that but until then just don't do any changes here and just listen to what i have to say uh, so it is the same you also got to change it here so ch uh, change it to your company name now turn email body into json here i think uh well it's on subscribe link so yeah you could put your on subscribe link but i just prefer don't uh, i just prefer not to because uh, i just don't want the person to unsubscribe then 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 we have create gmas campaign draft as I told you, you're going to need that API key and we're going to get it now. Let me just fetch the API key. Yeah, like I just fetch it, whatever the key is. I'm just, I'm just going to paste it here. Uh, okay. And then uh, in the from email, you have to put your email and not my email. So you got to change this too. If you don't, then this is going to throw a 400 error and um, it, it won't work being honest so just change that now we have to change the api key in all four of these modules and the from email in the in the first two modules so from email and from email here so you have to change it to sh change it to xyz or john doe at the gmail.com whatever it is whatever it is at your end and yeah i gotta change this too you don't have to change anything in the last two uh, http modules because um, they're just predefined all you have to change is the api key that's all you need to change in this module and then you guys just want to ensure that update as sent is the same row is, is the same column as the sent column so that whenever this thing completes execution we're going to see a sent sent message here uh, so the ai so the scenario would know that this person has been sent the email and we should not send him any more email so uh, do the same changes here and here uh, it's, it's all set up at my end and now the moment of truth i'm gonna run it as you could see like the, the, in, the, in the initial few um, rows there was there's no name so this system took the no name path and it's sending it let me just check there okay so it's called 400 okay that's weird that's 200 because it's so it's called 400 let me just check what's what's wrong here uh-huh just stop this so this would be a, tr a troubleshooting uh course for you guys so just pay attention okay it's uh uh-huh this looks good this looks good okay, campaign draft ids uh-huh nothing seems wrong but still it's sending me 
uh, stress code 400 which is invalid request which is something that should be addressed did I mess up something? Shreyas Raj Sony 30 at the gmail.com okay this looks cool uh, API key I think I need to generate a new API key if that's that's the case mm -hmm. no, this is okay hmm that's weird because if I check it here if it's not sending here it means that uh, that is actually an error which needs to be addressed Okay, that's uh, huh? that's weird. That's weird. I'll see what's wrong with this. Uh, okay, okay. It's error code four hundred, which is um, something that we are looking for. And yeah, I mean, it did technically send, but also it did not technically send. So yeah, it's a. Uh, it is it. I'll just run through it and see like what's wrong with this. I'm gonna take the take this route because again, I mean um. Mm -hmm. So even you guys might get into this trouble, so you you guys better <coughs> watch carefully. Uh, okay, it's uh, it's cool. Still scored 400. Okay, am I uh, doing something wrong? I think I should create a new API key just for the sake of it. Should I forgot which API key was my? I think this is the newest one. I'll just copy this AI API key to clipboard. Just stop. I think there is a API key function somewhere somewhere in here because uh, yeah, status code status code it's a uh, it's an invalid request code just just for the in, just for the information and um, mm -hmm. uh, troubleshooting um, mm -hmm. simply imply to as friend so you guys could look into these prompts later on when when you are I think yeah okay just for sake of it I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it here because I think this is the reason why I put the unsubscribe link but that's the reason why it's uh, throwing me some errors it's I have to change it trim I have to change it with a uh, uh, message content choices uh, message content gotcha okay now if I save this and now if I run this, I think I should like the the, the error for the 400 thing that should get resolved. Email body writer, okay, it's, it's taking its time. Did it resolve? Uh, let me check. Nope. Okay, what's wrong? Let me just see. Because it's it's executing properly. That is just I think the the query is there's something wrong in here. Let me just check campaign draft id it's campaign draft id the campaign it's clean here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. send email through to check it at my end and let's see this runs yeah so hello people there are last a uh, last few minute changes that uh, i'd like to discuss so this thing was giving me an error code 400 that's because i exceeded the limit of the free tier of gmas so in order to send almost 1000 emails or more than 1000 emails um, per month maybe 30 40000 emails per month you need the gma subscription which is 10 dollars 12 dollars and uh, i have the subscriptions so i am able to send that much of emails but in the free in free tier you can sell you can send 50 emails per day so yeah i mean that's uh, that's still um, uh, more than enough so in, in in a month that would be 1500 emails so yeah uh, we have to bear with that uh, i'm sorry for that and yeah for the company website uh, uh, we have to change this to our company website so in case i have a company and my website is rapidxai.com you have to change it to your uh, company website uh, so i've did the changes here and additionally uh, I wasn't able to send through Stress Sony 13 as I had exhausted my 50 uh, GMAS email um, uh, quota. So I'm just doing it with this another account, which is Stress Sony Business. Now, the only changes are you just need a new API key. So create a new API key. Um, it should appear. Yep, it appears here. And change the email, the, the from email in this module so it's shares our sony business previously it was shares our sony 13 and do the same here 
Shaha Sony business. And then do the changes in the in the in like all the four modules. Just change the API key. And then this thing should fire away those shots. Those emails. <clears throat> Again, as I told you, don't try to fire more than 20 uh, emails per per hour. I'm doing this for the sake of demonstration. I don't have to need, I don't have to land any clients. Uh, I'm just doing it for for the sake of demonstration. So I'll just file this and let's just wait and watch. So right with or without name. So as you could see, all these records they have a name. So it is uh, choosing with name part uh, with name path. You can see it is sent. If I check here, I think this should be sent. So it's 247. Yeah. Oh, yep. We got it. How AI voice also could transform your your practice. Hey there. Just want to reach out because I spotted your name on the Apollo email list for Hammond Real Estate. Okay, that's a great, great start. I get it. We all want to stay ahead of the busy world of real estate, and sometimes it will help from technology can make all the difference. Let's talk about something that's been on my mind lately: AI voice services. Imagine having an AI agent that can handle inquiries, schedule showing, or even chat with the client when you focus on the areas that need your personal touch. It's like having a trusty sidekick who's always there, friendly, efficient. Okay, it could have been better, but it does the job. I really believe it could be fantastic. If you are curious to explore this, I'd love to hop on a 15 minute call. No pressure, no pressure. Just a casual chat to see if you it resonates with you. Okay, that's a good one. That that thing hits. It's a decent copywriting and um, AI did AI outdid itself. I'm proud. I'm proud of my uh, prompt engineering skills. So, <laughs> anyways, it just it has already sent seven emails as we ch as we just you know chat and review all these uh, emails. So if I refresh again. Uh huh. <laughs> How AI was changing the way we connect to real estate? A simple AI voice can elevate things, ele elevate listings. Oof. So as you could see, it works fine. It works pretty damn good. I'll be dropping this in the in the description down below. Just to ensure that Gmask has only a 50 emails per day limit, so you have to bypass that. And um, maybe I'd say get your email from more reliable sources. Cause I used Apollo, which is not, which does not have the best reliability in the world. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, as you could see, the bounce rate and uh, bounce rate it's, it's pretty low. Uh, I think uh, in, in this account I had a single bounce, which was uh, yeah, Gmask reports at bounce, so it was to this uh, this uh, email address. But yeah, like that's that's one out of 64, uh, 61. That's one out of sixty one. So yeah, that's that's a pretty great um, I'd say deliverability date. And um, yeah, so this thing would continue to send twenty more. Uh, up to, uh, until it's done with the 20 emails and we have to set it to 60 minutes interval so that it sends uh, out the emails every 60 minutes so I think uh, you guys might need to buy the Gmask premium but uh, I think you should do just because uh, it is it, it is worth the price and it is just worth the worth the money like, like the cost is justified being honest so if I oh I think I should stop that to uh, do the scheduling part but yeah I mean uh, we could do, do, do that later anyways uh, I hope you like the video let me know if there's any question that you guys might have and uh, uh, I'm rooting for success. Thanks for watching and yeah, I'm the most handsome and generous Shiraz Raj. Bye-bye.